Hello, and welcome to our Band in a Box quick start tutorial on using the Band in a Box DAW plugin within Ableton Live. In this video, we will go over creating a new project, loading the Band in a Box plugin, and then dropping some tracks from the Band in a Box plugin into Ableton. So let's get started by opening a new project. You can do so by just going to the File menu and select New Live Set. A new live set starts out with four tracks, two MIDI tracks and two audio tracks. So now that we have our new project with our tracks, let's take a look at our plugins tab on the left. Ableton will usually automatically read the plugins and make them available. If you do not see the Band in the Box plugin, you can quickly fix that by going to your preferences, selecting the plugins tab, and turning on use audio units, and use VST3 plugin system folders. And now you can see over here that the plugins are now available. So we can close our preferences window and we can see under audio units we have PG Music and our Band in a Box plugin. And the same under VST3. So now we can just drag our plugin over to our first MIDI track. Now that we have our Band in a Box plugin loaded Let's open up the style picker and pick a style. But before we select a style, we will rebuild the style list. This will just take a moment. Okay, so now that that's finished, I think I want to make a short blues song. So I'll narrow down the list by typing blues in the filter string. And you can demo styles by just double clicking on them in the list. So I'll demo some styles till I find one I like. I really like this Texas Rock Shuffle with the guitar solo by Saul Philcox. So I'll use that one and press OK. As you can see here, our style includes reel tracks that were recorded at a tempo of 130 beats per minute. Our song doesn't have to be exactly 130 beats per minute, so I could leave it at 120, but I think I would like it a little faster, so I'll go with 135. And I'll change it to 135 within the plugin as well. and we'll write the song in the key of E. And then I'll enter some blues chords. E, A, E, A, E, B, A, E, E. I think that's good. So we will shorten the song down to just 12 bars. And then just click the generate button to generate our tracks. This will just take a few seconds. But while those tracks are generating, we should go back to our preferences and select the Record, Warp and Launch tab and turn Auto Warp Long Samples off. This will prevent Ableton from warping any of our tracks from the plugin. And now it's done generating in just 18 seconds. We can demo our song right in the plugin by pressing play here. That sounds pretty good to me. So let's go ahead and drag our tracks into our DAW. We can do this with these green and blue squares right here. The green squares on each track will allow you to drag that individual track over, but we want to drag all our tracks, so we will use the blue square. 
So just click and hold on the blue square as well as hold the command button and drag over to the Ableton timeline. And now we can just press play to take a listen. Thanks for watching our Band in a Box quick start tutorial on using the Band in a Box DAW plugin within Ableton Live. For a more in depth tutorial on using the Band in a Box plugin within Ableton Live, visit our plugin support page at www.pgmusic.com support.bbplugin.htm. Have fun!